disco boy Lee Marshall, as some of you may be aware, has been on a little mission recently. Copywriting, marking a video as content for 18 years over, and uh, of 18 years and over only, and privacy complaint in some of my videos. Now I decided to try and speak to Lee via Twitter, and in return, I was called names, and then those comments were subsequently deleted, as if he was trying to hide something. Anyway, after a little to and fro, Disco Boy banned me from his Twitter feed earlier in the week. Last night, however, I was directed to a video that Lee had made on his Twitter feed, directed at me. At me. Although, as far as I was aware, I was blocked from his feed, and as I have no inclination to follow him or his tweets, I had no idea that it was there. Almost as if it was done on purpose to suggest that it was up there for me to see, but I simply ignored it. When in fact, as far as I was concerned, I was still blocked. Anyway, I decided to respond to that video with this one. You literally must want your channel taken down. I sent you an email telling you to remove the thumbnail that's got my email address in it, or I'm gonna copyright strike you for the pictures that you stolen off my website. All right, well, let's start with the pictures. I, first of all, I didn't even know that you had a website. I've got no inclination to go looking for a website that you may own at all. All of the pictures that I sourced came from newspapers, came from online newspapers, online media, meaning that the images were out in the public domain. So that's that one. Secondly, and I'm not pathetic enough not to admit when I'm wrong. You know, I'm a grown adult and, you know, I act as such, although I have my odd moments. Me putting that thumbnail on with the email address, that was an emotional decision. That wasn't a rationally thought out decision. It was emotional. And I admit that I shouldn't have put that on there. Now, I don't know whether you've had emails or not. I've got no idea. But that was an emotional reaction and I shouldn't have done it. And I'm quite happy to put my hands up and say that I shouldn't have put your email on there. I have now changed it. I didn't even know that you'd done this video, to be honest. I don't follow you on Twitter and I'm not on Twitter all the time. So no, I didn't even know this video was out there. So uh, you making videos threatening me is just pathetic and a waste of time. However, as I say, I put my hands up to the fact that I made an emotional decision and I left the email address identifiable on the thumbnail which I have now rectified. Uh, you're still going around in circles as regarding you can't you can't accept the fact that you stole my whole video and uploaded it pretty much the whole video. So is it the whole video or pretty much the whole video or is it actually in fact parts of multiple videos that I have stitched together and made a video that is by the terms of fair use transformative and therefore tells a completely different story from your own video so people wouldn't even need to watch my video why exactly or how exactly do you suppose that my video which tells a completely different story to yours would be appealing to the 12 year old girls that watch your videos if people wanted to see the full video or full videos then i mentioned you I named you in the description. They could have quite easily have gone and found you and your videos and watched them in their entirety rather than watching and listening to mine. So to suggest that people wouldn't go and watch your video if they were interested in it because they've watched mine is ridiculous. They can just watch yours. Like you can't understand that. And the reason we copyright strike, when you get a video go viral or something goes off, I can't be asked to sift through loads of videos and say, oh, can you do... I don't care about descriptions and titles and that. I want all the views on my own channel. I don't want other people stealing my content. Well, I don't want to be the one to burst your bubble, Lee Marshall, but 34,000 views on one video and 450,000 views on the other one, which has been up since the 27th of September 2018, is hardly going viral. You know, but there you go. Um, secondly, with regards to stealing content, this is the whole point of fair use or fair dealing as it is here in the UK. You can use parts of other people's work, which is what I've done. I've taken two videos, I've cut bits from each one and I've stitched them together and I've interjected with my own video and my own narrative. That is the very definition of fair use. Unfortunately, if you don't like that, then you're going to have to take it up with the legislators. 
Same with Java. Why would he want a fucking you to upload his video that you find it funny? You even said you looked on Facebook and you found it on Thingy on another page. So you don't know if it's real. Then you're saying it got sent to you by a reliable source. Make your mind up. Well, clearly you're letting your testosterone talk for you there. Getting brave because you're behind a camera, not face to face. Uh, I never said that at all, okay? I think you're getting a bit confused. I was sent by a WhatsApp message a video file. I was told that I could use it. Now, whether this was a setup, because this is after you decided to jump on my initial video, whether this was a setup from you, you've seen my channel, you've seen the number and you thought, I know, let's send him a, a clip of this and then we can stitch him up with it. I don't know, I'm not saying it is, but I'm also not saying it isn't. However, I was sent it in a file. I looked for the video, that's what I said. I looked for the video online and I could not find an original source for it. Okay, it was only after when you said, uh, Jarvo, in, when you started tagging people on Twitter, uh, tagging Jarvo on Twitter, telling them, oh, here's another one to strike, here's another one to strike. And I realized that that's where the video must have come from. Okay, at which point, after a little bit of research, I found out that Jarvo had the Britain's Most Wanted Facebook page. And lo and behold, there was a video. I'd already emailed the email address that came from the copyright strike with that one, not knowing who it was. But that's the situation around that one. I said in the email, I'm quite happy to take it down. No problem with that at all. Now I know where it's come from. If you don't want it up, then you don't have to have it up. You know, you could have said, can you stick a link to um, my Facebook page or whatever? It's, it's, using, it's called using your brain. You could have got more subscribers or more followers by doing that. And that's clearly what you're all, up, all about. Do you know what I mean? I'm not. What I'm about is sharing information with people. If you've bothered to check out the channel at all, that is. That's what I'm about. I'm not bothered about subscribers. I'm not bothered about getting fucking tens of thousands of subscribers. It would be nice. Of course it would. Absolutely, it would be nice. But the kind of channel I do doesn't get monetized hardly ever anyway. So it's not about subscribers for me and trying to make money from YouTube. I'm doing something because I feel that I need to do it. And to get jumped up little pricks think that there's something special because they've got a few hundred su subscribers or whatever, or a few, few thousand subscribers, or whatever it might be. It don't wash with me. Do you know what I mean? At least be fucking adult about situations. Yeah? Somebody puts a copyright strike in against you, you email them or they email you and say, all right, mate, look, no problem. I'm happy to take it down. Or, you know, I'm happy to put a, 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 ta a link to your channel or your whatever it might be in the description no problem at all but no no you seem to think that all the subscribers have to belong to you when there is enough people out there to subscribe to multiple channels and this is where you're going a bit wrong do you know what i mean maybe it's why you're hanging off of ali law's coattails all the time do you know what i mean because that's what you do you're a cling on to ali law i feel sorry for the lad a video don't just appear in thin air and then it's not owned by anyone like every video is owned like, don't steal content. You've done it to me, and then you've done it again. So don't make out you're innocent. You know the game. Well, I'm not entirely sure what game you think I'm playing. I don't play games, Lee. I play by the law. I play by the rules. And as far as I'm concerned, the initial video that you copyright strikes is under fair use. Second video, fine. Do you know what? Fuck it. I've tried to reach out to the person who copyright striked it. I've offered to take it down. I've offered to put a link in the description. 13,000 potential subscribers. But, you know, if it doesn't want to reply, that's absolutely fine. Keep the copyright strike on there. But your video is under fair use. End of. I've not used all of it, or basically all of it. I've used parts of several videos, stitched them together. In some cases, I've stitched them around the wrong way together. But I certainly ain't playing any games. And with regards to the splash the copper getting splashed video as i say I'm quite happy to put my hands up i didn't know where it came from i couldn't verify where it came from i can only go on trust so when somebody sends me something and says here's a clip for you you can use it what am i to do say no fuck off of course not i've got to trust people do you know what i mean same as you sometimes have to trust people same as Jarvo is going to have to trust people so when somebody turns around and says look I'm sorry I didn't know it was your video yeah it was sent to me as a file in a whatsapp message yeah but I'm happy to take it down it's called trust and try stitching people up just because you want to try and one up people because you think you're some sort of fucking somebody on YouTube but I'm literally 
I've already given you time and you haven't removed the thumbnail. So I'm going to strike your video in literally 12 hours unless you change that thumbnail. I've, I've literally, I'm telling you, like, and if you don't do it, that's just what will happen. So if you, if you don't do it, you're, your channel goes down because of you. Well, no, not really. It wouldn't be going down because of me, because one of those strikes, at least one of those strikes, is a malicious copyright strike. It's a misuse of the copyright system on YouTube and making false DMCA claims is actually against the law. So, you know, if it wasn't for at least one malicious copyright strike, potentially two, then the channel wouldn't be going down. Like, do you understand a privacy complaint is because someone's private on there that I don't want? It's a private email address. Like, I don't want that in, a, in the public domain. But if you want to make it public, that's, that's why you get striked and lose your channel. So this all comes down to you stealing videos, then stealing videos again, trying to act like... I mean, your, your policy might be, oh, I don't know why people can't just message. No, fuck messaging people. People steal videos to gain money out of all of us. And I'm fucking sick of people like you doing it. So you're sick of people like me doing it. People like what exactly? Because I'm pretty fucking sure you know nothing about me. Don't know who I am, what I'm about. Nothing. So to say people like me is a bit of a generalised sweeping statement. Maybe you could be a little bit more precise in you know your descriptions. As for making money off of you, well, the video that I edited under uh, transformative state uh, under the terms of fair use yeah i monetized that video of course i did i'm allowed to the other video however wasn't even monetized the video that Javo copyrighted wasn't even monetized so you know i really would get your facts right before making statements like that just stealing videos to get a bit of growth and a bit of money off the back of our work no i'm done with that Go back five years ago, I used to think different, but I just get pissed off with people stealing co content now. So what I generally, genuinely think the problem is here, and that is that you are used to people just stealing your videos, just taking your videos and mirroring them on their channels. I think that that's gen genuinely the reason why you are being the way that you are. I don't suppose many people have ever reviewed your videos before or made a fair use mashup or, or whatever it might be of your videos. And I genuinely believe that that is the situation. But unfortunately, it does happen and it will happen. It happens to everybody. I've got videos out there that people have done of me, mashups. I don't give a shit. It gets me more subscribers if they show it on their channels. You know what I mean? The more people they've got subscribed to their channel, the better as far as I'm concerned. It makes absolutely no difference to me whatsoever. If, on the other hand, I had taken five, six, seven of your videos and, you know, literally just uploaded them and maybe just done an introduction and, uh, and, a, and a closing statement, then, yeah, I can understand you getting pissed off. I can understand your copyright striking it. But this channel is about the law. Do you really think that I'm purposely going to go and break a law, a legislation, an act, a statute? Do you really think I'm going to go and do that on a channel that is going to be targeted by the police who are always looking for a way to take down channels like mine? Of course not. Now, as I've said, and I'll say it again, putting the email address on there in a state that is understandable by people looking was an emotional reaction. And for that, I apologize. I've taken it down, okay? Shouldn't have done it because it wasn't, wasn't very professional. And I'm happy to admit that. The copyright strike of the video of you in the ASDA with all your mates, that one, I will fight that too for now. And I'm quite happy to take that to court all the way. The other video, uh, Jarvo's video, speak to him. He's got an email from me. I told him I'm happy to take it down. I did not know it was his until after it had been copyright strikes and after you had tagged people on Twitter, then I realized who it was. And it took me about 10 minutes to realize that uh, it came from Britain's Most Wanted Facebook page, at which point it was too late to take down. If I'd have seen it on there before, then I wouldn't have put it up. Simple as that. But if you know people don't want to be grown up and adult and deal with things in an adult manner, then there's not a lot I can do about it apart from do what I'm allowed to do in law. Jarvo's video, if he's you know if he's not ha if he's not happy for me to just take it down and and you know and just move on, and he wants to keep the copyright strike on, then that's entirely down to him, and I'll accept that. However, the claim on the original video that you copyright strike, as I've said, I have countered that 
under perjury, okay, I will take it to court if I have to. I will take it as far as I have to. Not for any other reason other than for principle, because that is done under fair use. And I know it is, for a fact. So, as I say, I think the issue is that you are not used to people using your videos and creating videos like the one that I did, especially as it was quite critical of you and your friends. But there you go. Now, I just want to finish on one teeny tiny little point. I've said that some of your stuff has been funny, whereas other stuff has been outright stupid. But out of all of your videos, Lee, out of all the things that you have done as Disco Boy, I think that driving at 70 miles an hour while holding your mobile phone and making a video to me has to top the lot of the dumbest and most stupidest things that you have done so far. You literally must want your channel taken down. I sent you an email telling you to remove the thumbnail that's got my email address in it, or I'm gonna copyright strike you for the pictures that you've stolen off my website. Uh, you're still going around in circles as regarding, you can't, you can't accept the fact that you stole my whole video and uploaded it, pretty much the whole video, so people wouldn't even need to watch my video. They can just watch yours. Like, you can't understand that. And the reason we copyright strike when you get a video go viral or something goes off, I can't be asked to sift through loads of videos and say, oh, can you do... I don't care about descriptions and titles and that. I want all the views on my own channel. I don't want other people stealing my content. Same with Jarvo. Why would he want a fucking... you to upload his video that you find it funny? You even said you looked on Facebook and you found it on Thingy on another page so you don't know if it's real. Then you're saying it got sent to you by a reliable source. Make your mind up. A video don't just appear in thin air and then it's not owned by anyone. Like Every video is owned. Like, don't steal content. You've done it to me and then you've done it again. So don't make out you're innocent. You know the game. But I'm literally... I've already given you time and you haven't removed the thumbnail. So I'm going to strike your video in literally 12 hours unless you change that thumbnail. I've, I've literally, I'm telling you, like, and if you don't do it, that's just what will happen. So if you if you don't do it, you are, your channel goes down because of you. Like, do you understand a privacy complaint is because someone's private on there that I don't want? It's a private email address. Like, I don't want that in a, in the public domain. But if you want to make it public, that's, that's why you get striked and lose your channel. So this all comes down to you stealing videos then stealing videos again trying to act like i mean your your policy might be oh i don't know why people can't just message no fuck messaging people people steal videos to gain money out of all of us and i'm fucking sick of people like you doing it just stealing videos to get a bit of growth and a bit of money off the back of our work no i'm done with that go back five years ago i used to think different but i just get pissed off with people stealing content now